Hey folks, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, I will be using my Food Saver vacuum sealer again. Um, I bought some pork chops the other day, and what I didn't use, I threw it in a freezer bag, threw them in the freezer and let them freeze. Um, but today I want to put them in my vacuum seal bags, and I'm going to show you a little trick I got with this. Um, so let's get started. First thing I want to do, and if you hadn't used a vacuum sealer before, if you're new to it or if you're thinking about getting one, it's well worth the money. You should try it. They're not that expensive. When I put my meat in my bag, if I'm working with a partner, somebody's helping me, I usually let, I cut the bags, and as I cut the bags, they put the meat in. And that way, you're not handling meat, handling your machine, it saves you a lot of cleaning. All you have to do, whoever's handling the meat, when they get through, they come wash their hands and all, and you're done with it. You don't take a chance of contamination, especially with stuff like chicken and all that. You don't want to get salmonella. So, anyway, what I like to do, I like to get my bags pre-made, get ready to put my meat in. If I'm working alone, I'll put the meat in separate, and then I'll go back and wash my hands. So, let me get the meat in these bags, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, I told you I was going to show you a trick. Now, here's a little something I do. I want you can either use the whole bag, put whatever you need in there, and seal them up like it's just a, a one section bag. It comes, you seal your end, whatever length you need, it's already sealed on the sides. Now, if you're just doing one, now with these 11 inch bags, if you just put one pork chop in there, you see, that would be a waste of this side. You can say, well, you put two in there, but then when you open it up, you have to seal that back. You have to leave enough up here so you can put it back in. If you cut the, if you was to seal this bag, it would have you seal up here, but after you vacuum seal it, you could take your scissors and cut it off. Take one pork chop out or whatever it is you have, then put it back in there and reseal it if you leave enough material. But this, let me show you a trick right here is what I'm going to do. Take this bag, you'll notice this bag here is in two sections. Now I didn't buy them like that, I made them like that. You can see, here's that bag we made a while ago. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that bag and I'm going to get me about a middle way point. I get my midway point, then I'm going to lay that midway point there right on that tuck it in there. Let's see. Gotta do this right. I'm gonna tuck it right in up there in that roll, get it out of the way where to lay down flat. I'm gonna put about midway of that bag right on that heat strip. I'm gonna close my bag down, my, my lid down, and turn lock it down. Then I'm gonna hit seal. And it'll take it just a minute. It's gonna seal the right up through the middle just like it does on the top now we're not using vacuum yet we just want to hit seal just like we did when we sealed the end of our row now that's ready to go now i want to show you something what we've got here we've got that bag with two sections in it you can see that that bag is sealed on the end and through the middle now you can put pork chops or whatever it is you're using you can make your bags any size you put it in here like this whatever you're using there's multiple ways you can use this and you can just use your imagination how you can divide your bags up and i got some more tips i'm going to be showing you on that for different uses how you can use a lot of this your roll material without wasting you can see this machine this is a drip tray it comes out for cleaning but you want to put your bag in there where it's right up around the edge of that now here's another tip you'll watch my videos you'll see me tell you on this machine if you see when you lay that in there see how that bag gets a curve in there if you just flip that down like that and try it sometimes what happens it puts a little crease in that bag when it tries to pull a vacuum on it and it will not seal good and the vacuum machine it just want to keep running now one of these may do it or it may not but let's just see here but what I like to do, get plenty up there, shut my lid down, and I like to pull it kind of tight on both sides. Just give it a little tug, and then put a little pressure on it, lock it down, 
See the power comes on. Now we want to hit the vacuum button. It's going to pull the vacuum on it. It's pulling it on both sides. When it gets through pulling this vacuum, you can hear it change. Now it's switched over to seal. You can see the seal button is, is flashing. It's sealing everything tight. So this is be vacuum sealed. This is going to last a lot longer than putting it in a Ziploc bag and keeping it in your freezer. Okay, now that I've got all my pork chops in my bag, I've got them vacuum sealed and everything, I want to take a Sharpie and go along and mark them. And I'm going to just mark here when I've done them. That way I know when it is. And I can keep my stock rotated, you know, and I don't know, I won't have to guess. Since these are double, and, and on a bag that's sealed down the center right there, and I, I might cut it off and use it, I'm, I'm putting a date on both sides over both pork chops. You can do it however you want to do it, but um, I'm going to do it this way. Then I'm going to put these in the freezer, and I'll have it. They'll be ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching the channel. I hope that I've said something or done something that I show you and help you is if you get you a vacuum machine there or if you're a food seller or if you, if you don't have one, you're looking one, maybe this video will help you out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Share my channel. Hit that notification button too, the little bell. That'll let you know when I put more videos out so you can keep watching as you go. That'll help me grow my channel. And I'll tell you what, if you'll subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to yours. If you've got it public, now there's some people that are subscribing to my channel that they have their subscriptions set to private, and I can't see who you are. So if, you're, if you've got yours set to private, I can't go back and say, well, you say, well, I subscribed to your channel and you didn't subscribe to mine. Well, that's why, because you may have yours set to private, and I do not know that you're subscribing to my channel. I don't know who you are. I just know I picked up a subscriber at the end of the day there. So if you've got your um, subscription set to public where I can see who you are when you subscribe to my channel, I promise you, I will go back and subscribe to your channel and uh, help you grow your channel just like you're helping me grow mine. So I appreciate everything you do for my channel. May God bless you. Until next time, we'll see you later.